guys, welcome back. Today I am here with my latest Super Tarts haul. I have five orders sitting here. I had gotten one or two on Friday, one Saturday, and two yesterday, which is Monday. I had a couple that had taken detours across the country. Um, and then what I do is on restock day, I tend to place what I call an emergency order. It is basically an order that I am scared things will jump shit from my cart because they've been restocked and they're popular. So I will grab them, check out, and then I will go back later when I have a little bit more like time to browse and see what's left. And then I usually place two or two more orders after that. So I usually place like two or three a week. Um, so anyway, so I have five samples because of that. And every single sample is something I have not melted before, which is super exciting because now I can try a couple new things. So the first one is Violet, which is peppermint, cotton candy, blackberry. And I know y'all are going, you've never melted Violet. And I've never melted Violet. I am, I am sorry if that's a disgrace. And this is so nice. I love that peppermint and then that blackberry and cotton candy come through. I actually purchased some pan pieces of Violet in a D-stash last night and I'm so glad I did. I'm trying to move y'all over so I can. All right. Um, the next one is Poser Spa Cucumber Mint Seaside Spearmint. This one I had gotten Friday and I smelled it and it prompted me to actually place an order with a clam of this. And it smells so good. It is it is heavier on the mint. It is it is heavier on the mint. Both the 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 cucumber mint part and the spearmint. And I'm hoping the seaside will come out some more when it's melted. The next one, I'm kind of iffy on I'll melt it, but I don't know that I'd ever buy it. It's Herschel's Farm. And it's watermelon, strawberries, honeydew, and oranges. It's very fruity. I, I can't do overly fruity without there being some like seaside or bakery involved. I'm sorry for the crinkling. I'm trying to open these so I can smell them. It smells good. It really does. Actually, I really like that. Actually, that is that's really good. I take what I said back. That is really good. All right, and the next one, and this one I'm looking. For, I'm gonna actually melt this week, so you'll see this in my next week's empties. I want to melt it to see if it's one I want to buy because it smells so good on cold. It's Countess pistachio and chai sugar milk. My issue is sugar milk. Sugar milk tends to give me a sour note, and it always makes it smell like vomit in my house. So I, this smells just like a sweet pistachio. So I'm gonna melt this. I may actually melt this today. I may stick this in my bedroom today so I can kind of see if I like it. And then um, that way I'll know if I wanna order a clam of it or not. And the last sample is another one I'm gonna melt this week cause I wanna try it is Logan. Black tie, amber romance, clove and driftwood. This one is very, it's light masculine. It's not over the top masculine. But clove and driftwood and amber can kind of come out weird on warm. So I'm going to melt this this week and see if it's uh, clam worthy. It smells so good on cold. All three of those, Herschel's Farm, Countess, and Logan, I'm going to melt this week just to see if I want to buy a clam in it. Because all three are still in stock. So I kind of want to see if I can... Um, if I want to buy a clam before they go out of stock. So I'm going to go in no particular order. I do not have these in order by um, category. I do not have them in order by how I bought them. I'm just going to go through them. They're all stacked up here. So the first thing is Sentinel. And this is Herbal Lavender Blackberry Preserves and Marshmallow. If y'all have followed me, y'all are probably going, you don't like Herbal Lavender. And no, I don't like Herbal Lavender. But the marshmallow and the blackberry really sweetens that up. I really enjoy this. I think this is going to be a new bedtime favorite for me. Oh, that smells so good. I wanted to open my Horizons because um, Super Tarts is my main vendor now. I'm no longer purchasing from Sassigo Aroma. And she had most of my nighttime blends. I had like three from Super Tarts. I had, no, I had four. Go to Sleep, uh, Lavender Orange Dream, Rue, and Rosemary Baby. And so the rest was from Sassy Girl, but since I'm no longer supporting her or her business, I have to find somebody else. So I picked this up just because people said it was good, 
But now I put now I'm picking it up. I ordered another one last night. I had ordered two last night actually, um, because I need I need you know a new bedtime scent because I like to alternate. There's seven nights in the week. I don't want to melt the same thing every night, so I alternate between what I have, and so that'll give me another good one for bed. The next one is Modoc creamy peach and blackberry sorbet stacked on top of a vanilla sugar waffle cone. This one is gorgeous as well. This is a very, very nice, creamy, fruity, very light bakery. I mean, the waffle cone is not overly dominant. It is just very nicely in the background. This is primarily peach and blackberry. Oh, it smells so good. I've already gone through a clam of this um, last week, and I have one in my bin. And I have two I just picked up in this restock. Plus, I have that pan of Modoc and Ron coming when she sends those. The next one I had in a BAM bag and decided I wanted a clam as well. And it's Lorelei. Coffee and Midnight Ice Cream Cinnamon Donuts. This one, it says, I smell snow. This one is gorgeous. Mm, I love this. I actually, I put this on last Sunday for my BAM bag. And it lasted 12 plus hours. It would have kept going, but I changed it for my bedtime melts. It is so creamy coffee and a hint of bakery from the donuts i mean all three of those scent notes are blended very well together and i'm glad i picked up a clam of that the next one is dorothy it's cactus and sea salt camo camo and guava and this is a nice fresh blend i'm really looking forward to melting this i think in the bathroom yeah it's really good it's it's more cactus and sea salt that's primarily what I smell. I know other people smell other things, but that's primarily what I smell is a cactus and sea salt. This one is gonna be really, really good for the bathroom. I am super excited for that. The next one is Percy Rain and Lemon Curd. This is another favorite for, of mine in the bathroom. I actually like this all over my house, especially when I've been cleaning. It just puts up a very nice, fresh lemon scent. And this is very well blended together. It is very equally rain and lemon curd. I love her lemon curd. Mm, that is so good. So that one, I think, I think this, I have, I'm trying to think. I think this makes like five, four or five clams. The next one is Poltergeist and it's Icy Spearmint, Vanilla Cupcakes and Sugar Cookies. This one I would have never gotten before because of the spearmint. But I decided to grab it because it was in stock. And it is a very, very nice blend. It is heavier on the bakery, but you get the hint of spearmint in it. But it is heavier on the cupcake sugar cookie blend. It almost smells like, like a buttercream frosting smell. Oh, God, that's so good. I have one in my bin. I have this and I ordered two more of these last night. So four should get me through. I'm trying to limit myself to two full clams of my ones I'm not overly crazy about, but I like. Like ones that I would not melt every day, but I'd still melt quite often. And then unlimited to my favorites, um, which is hard to do because I have a lot of favorites, but... I am really liking a lot of these scents and a lot of these are new to me. So that's good too. The next one is Leonardo. This is the second clam I picked up of this. It's blue cotton candy, blackberry jam, butter cookies, and sweet tarts. I love blackberry jam butter cookie blends. And yeah, I just I can't I can't get over it. Got a little pizza slice. I have two orders from Super Tarts I placed over the weekend that are that were shipped yesterday. I have two more orders I placed, one yesterday and one last, yesterday morning and then one late last night. My insomnia is loving me. I, I'm, I shop super tarts when I can't sleep. I lay in bed, I turn the dimmer on my phone down so it doesn't wake my husband. I turn the sound off and I browse super tarts. I think I ordered at like one in the morning. I put a screenshot in the group and I said, here's my insomnia. So this one, I get more of the Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, which is just fine with me because that is what I was hoping to get out of that. 
Um, so you'll see quite a few hauls from me for Super Tarts. And then I'm still going to order Friday if she restocks some good stuff. I'm going to order Friday too. Um, Diva Duck. Ice Lemonade Sweet Lollipops Grape Soda. I have, I think, a clam of this already. And so this is my second one. It smells so good. Oh god, I love this. This one's heavier on the grape soda than the um, mouse ears part. But that's okay because it smells amazing and I don't care. Alright, next up I'm trying to start preparing for fall. So I have some fall blends here and I'm so excited because it's getting to be that time where I'm going to be bringing out the fall ones. The first one that's fall-ish is Notting Hill. It's blueberry muffin, apple cider, and funnel cake. This to me screams fall. Anything apple cider or anything donuts, funnel cake, because funnel cake is fairs. Fairs is in September. To me, September is fall. I start melting pumpkin and apple scented things on September 1st. So the beach stuff will go away and the fall will come out. That's gorgeous of all those books. But anyways, um, this is my second claim of this. And I think I ordered one last night in my insomnia rage. <laughs> um, I'm fairly certain I ordered one last night as well as the one I have in my bin and this one. It is so good. And the other fallish scent is Frankenstein. It's coffee, pumpkin, pine, vanilla wafers. This is, I think, the second clam I have of this. I love that with the little screw in, in bed. Um, that is so cute. But anyways, this is very nice pumpkin-y coffee scent. A little bit creamy from the wafers, but this is really good for fall, so I've got two of those. And now Iron Islands Dune Grass Sea Salt Teakwood. My husband really, really liked this scent, so I grabbed another clam of this. This is good for the bathroom. It's very fresh, very outdoorsy. Um, I get dune grass and sea salt mostly, but it's, it's, it's really nice. I do enjoy that. The next one is If It Were So It Might Be. It's Fruit Loops, Lemon Curd, and Orange Cream. I love Fruit Loop blends. This one I've wanted for months or, yeah, a couple months. It's been out of stock every time. So when she restocked it, I grabbed, I think, two. Oh, that's so good. That's very heavy Fruit Loop, which I'm a Fruit Loop, so it works out really nice. The next one is Rue, and this is one of my standby bedtime scents. It is Bedtime Bath Baby Powder Magnolia Blossoms. This one I get more heavy on the Bedtime Bath and Baby Powder. I actually emptied a clam of this last week, so I was glad to grab another one. Mm. It is. It's very heavy on the Bedtime Bath and Baby Powder, but it's so good and so relaxing, and I love that for bedtime. The next one is Blossom. Lavender chamomile, cotton candy, rock, and rock candy. And this one was another one I was hoping to have as a new bedtime type scent. Um, and you can see the little herbs. So good. And that's really good. That's more of like a lav that's more of her go to sleep lavender, the lavender cream, I guess it is. Oh, that's so good. And it really gets toned down by the, the cotton candy or rock candy and, and the chamomiles in there. It, that's going to be a good bedtime scent. The next one is Zod. Watermelon Mac Apple Whipped Cream. And this one, believe it or not, I would use in fall because of the Mac Apple. I know a lot of people want it for summer because of the watermelon. And I do get heavy watermelon in this, but I would melt this in fall just because it does have the Mac Apple. It smells so good. It's just a creamy watermelon with a hint of apple. All right. Next one is Berry Good Cookie. It's House Berry Scent Sweet Sugar Cookie. I really enjoy this. I love the little cookie. It's so cute. It's just a sweet berry bakery scent. I really, really enjoy that. Next is The Wedding Singer. This is from the rom-com... Cactus Sea Salt, Mineral Oranges, Lemon, and Claire. This one I was not sure of when I first got it. I've smelled it all weekend. I got this one on Friday. I've smelled it all weekend. It's really nice. I really like Cactus with Sea Salt blends, and that's what I mostly get out of this with a hint of orange. I'm going to melt that and just see how it is. It may change on me on melting, and I may not like it, but who knows. Next is Spangler. Pistachio Macaroons, Coconut Cream, Pie, Lemon, Pound Cake. This is really nice. I love it. It's very equally all three of those things. It, you get lemon, pistachio, and coconut. 
It's just a very nice bakery scent. The next one is 90210 Peachy Coconut Smoothie Cotton Candy in Seaside. This one, if I can open it, I had gotten a clam of a while back and I destashed it because I didn't like it on cold. So I grabbed this one and I love it now. And you're, I know your scents can change, your nose can change. This is, it is heavier to me on the, the peach, but that's fine because I love peach. Next is Sand Dollar Cookies, Cotton Candy Pink Sand Sugar Cookie. And this to me is heavy on the pink sands. And then heavy on the sugar cookie. So it's, it's equally pink sands and sugar cookie with a little hint of like cotton candy type scent. So that is that one. Only two more guys. Next one is Finnick and it's sugar cubes and ocean waves. And this one I had never melted or smelled or anything before. Oh, that's nice. That's really, really nice. Oceany. Mm, that's going to be really, really good in the bathroom. That is really nice. All right. And last is Buffy Rosemary Mint Lemonade. I am very much into her Rosemary Mint blends and I'm very much into her lemonade blends. She has got some good lemonade and good Rosemary Mint. Oh, that smells so good. This one I think I have like three of because it smells so good. It's very equal rosemary mint and lemonade and it's just, it's gorgeous. I love, I love the, that. So that's my five orders. <laughs> it did, I mean, it didn't take as long as I thought it would. I thought we'd be at least 20 minutes in. Um, so yeah, that is my five orders. Like I said, I have one that shipped yesterday. I have... A couple more I placed late in the weekend, you know, early Monday. Um, so those probably will ship by the end of the week. She said they were doing pans this week. I don't know if they're just pouring them or if they're pouring and shipping them. Um, so I had four pans from that pre-order, which I'm excited about because my fake and bake's in there. I'm getting low on my fake and bake. So I'm super excited for that. So that is everything. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you later. Bye.